Alright, here's where my job is bringing me today. Uh, lovely downtown Chicago. Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Where the Heck Are the Albans? And where the heck are the Albans? We, well I, am in Chicago today. I'm downtown. Uh, sort of, kind of on the, the, the south side of Chicago. Um, but it, uh, today is going to be my official last day of work for a couple weeks. Um, like I said, I do home inspections. Um, I do the HVAC side of home inspections. That's what I do for a living. And I am considered non-essential. So, um... The uh, right now, unfortunately, even the the, the housing market is kind of taking a, a downward turn while this uh, whole coronavirus thing is happening. So uh, my services, uh, they find that uh, I don't need to put myself at, at any kind of risk or the buyers or anything like that. So um, no more going into other people's homes. Um, so I get uh, a two week forced vacation basically but of course it's going to be a staycation uh, we're not going to really be going uh, places they do say you know get out go for a walk things like that might still do that um, you know and as long as we're not in like big crowds we might still go a few places uh, but uh, as the governor has uh, officially put Illinois on a shutdown order uh, so only essential uh, what they call essentials are, are open. Uh, and that is grocery stores, gas stations, uh, medical places, veterinarians, um, and uh, uh, hardware stores are going to be able to stay open. But pretty much everything else is closed in Illinois. Uh, so all businesses are forced to not open. Um, uh, some restaurants are still allowed to be open, uh, but only for carryout or delivery. Uh, fast food chains are allowed to stay open as well, but for drive-through purposes only. Nobody can go into uh, the restaurants. So um, since I was downtown, I just finished up my last official job here uh, this morning. So I thought, uh, let's go right downtown Chicago and just drive down there and... Uh, Let's see what's going on. I mean, it's it's Friday afternoon, so um, and I don't even know if we've really seen anybody drive past me here. Uh, it is it's like a ghost town down here. It's kind of it's really creepy. Uh, but let's go right downtown Chicago into the Loop, Michigan Avenue. Uh, let's take a trip down there and let's just see what's going on downtown. And I guess I should have been more specific when I was I said I was sort of on the south side. I'm actually in Chinatown. Uh, so that's Chinatown right in front of me here. Um, and uh, so if you see a lot of Chinese writing around here, that's, that's why. <laughs> so before I take you guys downtown, um, I was only three miles away from somewhere, a, a filming location. Uh, and I thought I'd go ahead and come on down. I am going to take you folks down to the nitty gritty part of Chicago. Uh, the true south side of Chicago. Uh, if you do want to come down and see this place, uh, of this filming location, I will let you know that uh, it's best to come in the daytime. Okay. Um, but the majority of the people down here are very, very nice, okay? Um, uh, not to say that, you know, that it's all evil down here. No, not nothing nothing of the sort. But um, the uh, if you are a fan of Shameless, uh, I figured let's go see the house where they film Shameless at, uh, or at least the exteriors of it. Just for your information, the uh, the man that actually owns the house is very, very nice. Uh, really nice guy. And for a $5 donation, uh, he will, if you come down as a group or anything like that, he will take your picture on the front steps uh, leading uh, up to the house. 
Um, so for a neat souvenir, uh, it's a good way for him to make a little bit of money too. But the address of the place, I'm on uh, 21st Street right now and I am about to make a, a left-hand turn and the address is 2119 South Homan Avenue. Um, and if you do want to come down here, if you can't remember the address as I'm giving it to you, just type into Google Maps, Shameless House, okay? Uh, this guy doesn't mind you coming by. He actually wants you to visit his place. Uh, and for, like I said, for the $5, get your picture taken uh, on the front steps. Not a bad deal. So let's go see the house. Yes, yeah, so there it is. There is the Shameless House. Um, and uh, like I said, they, they film everything on the indoors, on uh, a studio, of course. Um, but, uh, but there it is right there in all of its glory. Um, also, uh, if you're wondering, the two houses down right here, this is Kevin and V's house on the show, uh, right here. And that is at 2113 uh, South Homan. But uh, let's turn. Let's go around the back alley and uh, let's see. Uh, let's see the back of the house. So yes, if you just come around to the back, you will plainly see. If you know this show at all, you will recognize this back porch immediately. Uh, look at that. So there it is. The the house used for the TV show Shameless. Pretty darn cool. So, like I said, I was just close by there. Thought I'd show that to you. So now let's just go on downtown and let's just see what uh, what it's like downtown Chicago in the Loop. Yeah. So just so you know, like you know the the movie magic and stuff. Uh, anytime like Fiona or anything like that from Shameless goes for a jog or. A little bit of a walk and just goes downtown Chicago you can see how far away the city is from the house <laughs> that's the skyline way down there miles turn left on South State Street there you go so they're about uh, about four four and a half miles so if this traffic is any indication going into Chicago we are on uh, I-290 which is the Eisenhower. Um, this is normally jammed up, like bumper to bumper, going roughly maybe somewhere between like one to six miles per hour on a normal day. Uh, I am going 60. <laughs> um, so this, uh, this is kind of crazy. All right, folks, this is a normal business day. We are gonna take a ride down Michigan Avenue, uh, the famed Magnificent Mile, uh, and take a look and see how busy it is down here. And man, it is like kind of like a ghost town down here. Just a few cars, a few, few people walking. This is creepy. It's like I'm in the movie I Am Legend here. <laughs> this is nuts. So, I just got off of Congress. This is the Art Institute of Chicago, right here. There, there's nobody down here. There is nobody down here. There's the Art Institute. Some of these, the roads, there, uh, there's nobody here. Wow. This place right across the street, uh, that's Millennium Park. That's where the, uh, the Bean is. Uh, that sits way back up in there. Um, all city parks, all state parks are closed. Um, uh, but they do say they're you know they're not gonna like completely fence it off or anything like that. But you can still walk through the parks. Uh, just nobody's maintaining them uh, or anything like that. So there's no services inside the parks. 
So yeah, so the bean, the bean sits right up there. Uh, there it is right there. See it? And uh, Millennium Park is all right here. And there's nothing. <laughs> Just a couple people walking around. A few cars, but nothing like it normally is. I mean, my God, this is usually, you know, just packed with cars. Such a strange feeling to be down here like this. Uh, that tall building that you see right there, that is Wrigley Tower. Uh, yes, from Wrigley Field and Wrigley's Gum and Candies and things like that. That is the Wrigley Clock Tower. So as I get up here to the Wrigley Building, this is the famous uh, uh, bridge that I have to go over, the Dearborn Bridge, where they dye the river green for St. Patrick's Day. I'm crossing over the Chicago River right now. There was no dying. No, it is just a regular old river over here. Uh, there's Tribune Tower, and there is nobody over here. That's NBC Building right over there. You can see the NBC Peacock back there. This is nuts. If there is one thing that Chicago takes very seriously, it is its St. Patrick's Day um, festivities. Um, and it was canceled. So no pubs were open, no bars. They did not dye the river green this year. There was no parade. Um, very, very sad indeed. So here we are in Michigan Avenue. A few cars way down there, uh, just a few. But look at the look at the sidewalks. There is nobody walking down here. The streets are empty. That is the famous water tower, the Chicago Water Tower. That's one of the only buildings that survived the Great Chicago Fire. Uh, and then you can't really see it. You can see it up there. That's the John Hancock building right over there and Water Tower Place. But all malls, things like that are closed. All stores are closed. Um, I do have to take you down here uh, a few months from now, uh, you know, after all this stuff passes. Uh, right down there on that corner is the largest Starbucks in the world now. The largest Starbucks is right up here, and uh, so, but uh, of course it is closed right now because of the coronavirus. But uh, we'll uh, we'll take you over there when it's when it opens up again. I am about to turn on Ontario Street. This is where the world's largest McDonald's is located. Um, and that's down here, uh, right alongside the Hard Rock Cafe, um, and such. But let's take a let's take a quick peek down here. This is Bloomingdale's. This used to be the Big Shriners uh, headquarters, but they turned it into a Bloomingdale's. Uh, but I'm going to stop at this red light. I'm going to turn off the camera. Uh, but when we get up to the Hard Rock Cafe and the largest McDonald's in the world, I will turn it back on for you. This lady here has the right idea. Get your dog out there. Get them, just, you know, take them for a walk or something, you know. No need to, you know, get into a huge panic and things like that. Uh, but like I said, every everything down here is closed downtown Chicago. There's no shopping going on. There's no nothing. So all the people you see walking around today, crossing the street and stuff, they're, they live down here. They're just going for a walk. So there is the Hard Rock Cafe, and right next door, that is the world's largest McDonald's. Um, but closed up tight. I can't go inside. Uh, however, the drive through is open. Uh, oh, well, there's Al's Italian Beef. If you're going to have an Italian beef in Chicago, that is the place to go, baby. Uh, you won't be disappointed. Uh, but I, I, I know I'm saying this a lot, but it, this is freaky, man. This is just way too weird. Just a few little, just a few couple people, like, just walking around down here. 
but other than that and, a, and, and just a few cars I mean I just zipped through the entire downtown loop in about less than five minutes I mean it that's, that's important that's insane it takes at least a half an hour to, to do that so wow all right okay so I am about to get onto the Kennedy Expressway right underneath this bridge here we're getting on the Kennedy Expressway the Kennedy Expressway is famous for its gridlock um, it doesn't matter what time of day you come down here it could be eight o'clock in the morning it could be two o'clock in the afternoon it could be two o'clock in the morning and this is total bumper to bumper uh, traffic down here, at least for the next like five miles. Look at it. This is nuts. I'm speeding, but I'm I'm going along with the rest of the traffic down here. I, I think we're all speeding because we don't know how to act. The, the speed limit down here is 55, and I'm going it's like 65. Uh, so, uh, but this, I mean. Wow, I, I, I can't get over this. So there it is. Uh, that was the uh, one of the busiest streets in the, uh, the second largest city in the United States. Uh, like I said, just very weird, very scary. Um, it's just got a very eerie feeling about it. Um, but this is, uh, the, the entire state of Illinois is on shutdown. Uh, that does not mean, like, martial law. It does, it's not a total lockdown. Uh, like I said, you can, you're still able to go anywhere you want to go, uh, just except for stores, because uh, almost just about, about 98% of all the stores in Illinois are closed in businesses. Um, so... Unless you're a grocery store, hardware store, gas station, uh, or medical facility, you're closed. Uh, and that's that. So, um, hope you like what you saw, uh, as far as, uh, just kind of a view of what's going out there in the big cities. Uh, if you like what you see, as always, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. And we'll see you guys next time on Where the Heck are the Albans? <laughs> Bye, everyone.